Good morning. We're out in the room. That's, uh, that's what it's called, the room. Yesterday we put in three windows. We're dry fitting them. I got one left to do. I ran out of lumber. I just got back from town, picked up one more of these. That's all I need because this one has two by fours. So I don't need a two by six for this one. And we're going to get this one dry fit. And then let me show you. Well, good morning, Miss Tilly. Are you eager to help me today? Yeah. I did pick up the other two by six. And we got a couple bags of concrete. And we're going to move these dog houses out of the way. We're going to add to this sidewalk. I may put a little on that side too just to make it even. Don't know. But we need to get that done. It's looking like rain, but I, I don't think so. They're calling for hot, sunny, almost 90 degrees. I had to undo my cord that I had wrapped up for my AC unit last night and plug the air conditioner back in. I've never had to do that towards the end of October. It's, it's been warm, been very warm. All right, let me get my saw drug back out. Let's get this one in. Then we'll pull them all back out. Uh, I've got a little, some small details to do. Most of that can be done from the inside. I do not want to leave gaps, so I'm going to fill these up uh, either with spray foam, which I forgot, or but there's no reason to waste a piece of lumber. I'll just fill that with uh, foam. And it's, of course, it's going to be have T111 on the other side. The only thing I'm concerned with Clearly, it's really not a concern. <sighs> if you see this distance on the end here, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna think I'm gonna end up with more on this side, but I don't think that's a big deal. But we'll get it in there. Uh, yeah. But we will have the same distance in between these. And that's what I was, that's the main focus. So they all look even. So hopefully I can get this in today, get them out, get the T111 at least on this side. Uh, I need to put two by fours down here. Do I have something to nail to? I'm going to put a piece of foam in between there just for added insulation. And here's my plan to do the water problem I have here. I'm just going to add a bunch of soil. Okay, I'm going to bring it up probably this high. Of course, I'll put something here uh, and taper it down and then use it as landscaping. Have plants or something in there. Because when you add soil and you have plants in it, it will soak up that water. Yeah, I think that's all that's really needed. And when I add the guttering, that's going to take a big part of the problem away. Do you think that's a good idea, Miss Tilly? Do you see that other beagle in there? I see you looking at her. You see that other beagle in there? Look, whose beagle? Whose beagle's that? Well, that's you. That's your, you should have seen her when I had a mirror the other day. That was funny. I wish I would have had a camera. I was moving a mirror in there and I said, well, let's see what Tilly does. And I put it in front of her and she jumped back and she's creeping up there sniffing. Well, you've never seen yourself, except in the old drinking bowl. Yeah, you're a good girl. All right, let's get going. All right, got the fourth one in. Very first cut, miscut. So I had to use a two by four up top there. That's all right, and you're gonna see that anyway. All right, we have exactly six inches between those two windows and exactly six inches between those two windows. And they're the same distance centered on that pole. I'm not worried about the ends. It's kind of an optical illusion because of that mark. It has to be painted. Uh, the nice thing is I can fit one solid piece of trim in between. And uh, should be easy to do. All right. Now I'm going to frame out this small one. And then we're going to get the T111 going. And then after that I want to... Well, I kind of need to do the concrete next. So let's frame that out. Let's just get this wall framed the way we need it. And then we'll start on the concrete. Looking forward to grabbing a shovel and digging. I love digging. Can you dig it? I can dig it. 
It's looking good, man. I got to peel that sticker. I peeled the sticker on the last one. We'll see if this one is just as satisfying because this is the one that has the instructions and you know. And this is the one that does not come off in one piece or can it? Can it do it for filming purposes? It did. It is my day. All right, there we go. All right, we're going to jump right into this concrete. Then we'll do the window last. I want to get this thing going. Uh, we're pretty much going to have to do a lot of framing on this wall because the door is shifting that way. Uh, actually, really, the door does not have to move at all. That hole, it, rather, I can just come straight out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, But I need to get this concrete poured. Uh, i got four bags. We'll see how far that gets. I'm probably going to come out two foot by two foot, two foot by two foot. And if i got any more, well, we're just going to dump it along here somehow. All right. And when I build this back, it's going to be much stronger. about all I'm gonna need I'm just gonna pour it four inches thick like that and ain't, ain't got to be perfect just need it level I need to dig in a little more on that side I need to get me a new square shovel that thing is worthless <sighs> and that Chinese made thing well everything's Chinese made that didn't even get one shovel full yep they don't make shovels like they used to they don't make anything like they used to I need to dig a little more on this side. Then we can start mixing it. Well, let me dig this one about the same. Then we'll mix it up. All right. That one's dug. And that one's dug. We've got to the bottom of the sidewalk there. Bottom of the sidewalk there. And don't need any forms or anything like that. I'm just going to pour it. Level it out the best I can. All I need actually is a few inches to lay my 2 by 4s on for my door. So they ain't got to be pretty, they ain't got to be perfect, they just got to be somewhat level. And I'm capable of doing that. Let's go. Doody, 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 doody. All right, here we go. High strength, high strength concrete mix. How strength are you? And it's a nice windy day. This shall be fun. Uh, yeah. That's some high strength dust. Uh, let me get my water turned on. Water. Dust and water. We'll mix one bag and then we'll add another. Well, is that as high as you turned it on? Oh, well, that's fine. Strength. High strength. You know, it'll be faster if I do this. When you stick your thumb in there. This hose ain't seen water in two years. Still works. About time my hoe did something. Sitting around in a corner all day. Get on out.
My baby does the hanky panky. My baby does the hanky panky. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, sir. That would suck if that was the water flow of my well. Doody, doody. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I got too much stuff in my pockets. Hurry up, you're wasting water. <laughs> you should wear a mask. Not wearing no mask. You know, I uh, hell. Doody doody doody, get out of there leaves. Get on my hill. Don't worry, I got French drains right there. I like wearing concrete. I saw her walking on down the line, yeah. This is a good workout. Oh. I am so vulgar. I know. Imitate me peeing. Nobody's ever seen that. Hey, hey, oh, these are my good ones. One day, I'll invest in a cement mixer. One day. I see you in there. Somebody's eating a ho-ho. Go ahead, put that whole thing in your mouth. You don't need to chew it and bite. Just put it all in there. And go jump on that scale. Boy, I used to love that. I eat the whole box, man. Eat the whole box. Them little Debbie Swiss cakes. Mm -hmm. I like them. All right, guys. I'll come back once I got it all mixed and ready to pour. Okay, okay. Let's get this dude over there. She's heavy. What you guys are standing right in the way. Ah, there's board in the way. I'm coming, I'm coming, y'all. Just don't click off. I'm coming. I'm pushing the gorilla cart the way it shouldn't go. All right, I'm going to shovel it in there. Because I don't trust dumping this thing. And it not going all over me. Doody, doody, doody these darn leaves. You would think it's fall. It's a little soupy. Oh, poor concrete. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is perfect. It's just perfect. Hey, now. Get on in there.
perfect consistency. Glad I got four bags. Because it looks like it's going to be two apiece. Boy, I hope it does it. Let me just dump it. We can dump it now. Hey. Two bags for the other hole. Uh huh. Here we go. Beep, 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 beep. Bet your gorilla cart don't have a beeper. I oh, know it don't. All right, where's my hole? See that? If it don't quite, yeah, it'll make it barely. And it doesn't have to be that big. I'm just worried about up here, see? I can always add more. Slurpy. Right, there's a shade more in there. I didn't even get dirty. Alright, the rest of it's just nonsense. Well, I need to heap it up here. So yeah, this is where we want it. Darn. I gotta make two bags work. So I ain't going back. This is all I care about right here. All right, we'll let that set up a bit. As long as it doesn't go back down. All right, let me mix up two more. There we have it. That's basically all I need. And I made that smaller, so I have enough to backfill that a little bit, but this is the only part I'm concerned with right here. I'll let this set up a little bit and then I'll level it off to the sidewalk. Uh, that looks pretty good there. As long as I got something to lay my studs on when I frame this doorway out, we'll be good. Her around that. I better not see a big paw print. You hear me? I gotta go do some other things. Can't keep my eye uh, on you all the time. Okay, go lick my grill. She just likes to get into trouble. It doesn't matter what. Now that all the windows are framed, I pulled them out. We're going to get the multi-tool, cut these shims off. We're going to get this prepped for T111. And I need to dig out a little bit there and get my framing on here so I have something to attach the T111 too. So let's get started on that while the cement is curing. Okay, okay, got this framed in. Throw a little insulation, why not? Add a little warmth to the outside. I'm using that tool again. Oh, that tool comes in handy. All right, let's throw the first two sheets of T111 up. I wish that was treated wood, but I don't have it. It'll be fine. It's going to be covered up anyway. Uh, and I'm going to fix the water issue. Definitely. 
Looks like that's out a little. Fix that. Yeah, that's all right. All right, everything's level. So now we got plenty to screw our T111 to. It is coming up to here, down to the bottom of them, about the bottom of that 2 by 4 I'm not going any, that's what I'm going to measure to cut it. Uh, yeah, if I was younger, say if I was 25, I'd probably go to the store and get some treated because I'd be living a lot longer. But by the time I'm 90, hey man, we're good at my age. I can leave it. Ain't gonna nothing gonna happen. Nah. We're gonna make sure. I mean, it's gonna have guttering. Uh, it's gonna have... Ain't quite sure how I'm gonna do it yet. I'm gonna have to have a barrier here to keep the dirt off the wall. Probably some kind of sheet metal. You probably won't even see this bottom anyway. And I'm gonna slope it down. No way water's gonna back up into here again. We'll do that up there too. All right. Well, I'm sorry for all the noise, Lily. Let's have a seat for a minute. I'm working on our slumber party room. You and Rooster, maybe Lily or Tilly and, and Millie could all come in and you guys could have a girly girl slumber party in there. I don't know what you guys do on a slumber party. I'll have to supervise for the first few. Yeah, if you don't mind the smelly old guy in there. How come all you dogs lick knees? You're all knee lickers. Look at that. There's my knee. Yeah, I forgot you were nocturnal. I'm in there banging, chipping concrete, moving rocks and screwing boards and cutting, but we're going to have the slumber party here soon. You and Rooster, you can come in there every night. Maybe we'll just leave this door open. You can go in there anytime you want. Yeah, only problem is we don't want creatures coming in. But Rooster's good at catching creatures, so she would like that. All right, I'm going to get back to work now, okay? Oh, Lily. She's doing okay. Nights are the hard, hard part for her. I don't know why, but she's out there crying. And I'm working as fast as I can to get this done. I got to get her. This is the perfect idea for them. It's a neutral room. She's not going to be messing with all Rooster's stashes and, you know, but... She's going to be okay. She's always acted that way anyway. She's scared of everything. Now she's just more scared. But I put your TV on for you. I think you're losing weight too on this newfangled diet that I got you guys on. And it's really not a diet. Same thing I'm doing. It's carnivore. Because you are carnivore. Yeah. She has not been eating her dry. She's been leaving it. She's getting very little dry food. I just increase what I've been giving her with meat. I cook for them every day, don't I, Lily? Okay, I'm going to get back to work. i got important stuff to do. 77 inches. I remembered what i got to cut the first one at. Alright, let's get this first piece cut. Oh, what a junky marker. Doesn't write. That always works. Yeah, huh? That's it. Get on now. Huh. Let's start from that other side. Ain't got no glasses. I got reading glasses. Need those anyway. Alright, ain't gonna cut my sawhorse, am I? Nope. When you cut wood, do you hold your tongue to the left? Or the right. I like to hold it to the right. 
Alright. Cut it from the back. It's a lot easier. We'll use these. These have use. Now, let's get her over here. Hang that dude up. It'll be a miracle if it goes first time. Be a miracle. All right. Let's aim you dudes over here. Let's bring you dudes over here. It is a windy, windy one. Yeah. All right. Where's my bottom? This is the bottom. Head to chip away concrete. Well, I'll tell you what, it really ain't that far off from that color. May not even have to paint it. Alright, this is what I'm afraid of. Yeah, this corner. I gotta chip some more concrete away. But that's how it's gonna go. And then it has these, if you've never used T111, it has these lips, male, female. So now I'll put the male part over this. You, you won't even see a seam in this stuff. So let me move this over, chip out some concrete out of this corner. It's got concrete from that post. And so I gotta get a hammer and some other apparatuses and chip away. You know, a little bit ago when I was digging out those holes for the concrete, I found this, a railroad spike. Why is that here? There, there ain't no railroad tracks 15 miles from here. But I was just thinking, man, I wish I had some sort of chisel to chisel that concrete. But land provides, man. Cool. All right, we're set now. Yeah, it's windy. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to kick this over and I've got my pry bar down here. I want this up, up as high as I can get it and tight. That looks good there. I can get it up a little more here, I'd be happier. Right, let's move this down. Get my drill ready. All right, over and up. Perfect. Screw in the mouth. Get out of here. All right, I'll just put a few in the holder. Nice tight fit in the corner. I like that. Do another one here. I hit the 20s today, guys. Two 20s. Look at that. I just got a bunch of skin. I still got fat. Nothing like I had. Nothing. Now I get to play the game of where is the boards? Well, we know there's one there. All right, so I'm going to finish putting screws in. We'll get the other sheet cut. Let's check for level. I want it level. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Anytime you're building, especially with framing, if you've got everything square, anything you do later on, is going to make things a lot easier and and it's been that way so far the only problem i had was down at that end was not square and i re-squared it so we're good 
So now, if you're wondering what we're doing, we're going to put all the way down, and I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go, I'm going to get a drill. I'm going to drill in each of the four corners where the windows go. Then I'm going to take a sawzall, and I'm going to cut the holes out. Then we'll put our windows in, put our, or we'll, before we put the windows in, we'll put the flashing tape, we'll put the windows in, we'll put more flashing tape, and then trim. And the windows are done. And it is going to be super warm in here. All right, let's get going. I'll come back after I get a little more done. Do, do, do. Everyone knows it's windy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's all scratched to Hades. Well, hi, Lily. I'm glad you came out. Hoo -hoo. Is there anything in the window I might need? No. Holy mother of all. What do we got going on here? More chipping? Oh, was a Chippendale. All right. That goes like that there. Uh-huh. I'll get my pry bar. Pry it up. That was one of the worst cuts I've ever done in my life. Good thing it's on the bottom. All right. And we're halfway there. Then I got to frame that out. Do that. We'll get that done before this video is over. Uh, I know better. You ain't going to stay. Here comes the wind. You only live once. Walk away from it, man. Walk away. Waddles. I hear tell the Waddley Rooster Convention is coming up. Are you interested in going? Shall I sign you up? Okay, yeah, them leaves look good. At least you got something to do now. Gotta get you guys some fresh water. The leaves go in there every, every five seconds. Uh, and you're in your usual spot. Okay, I'm just checking on you because I'm busy back there. But you got your shade, you're good. You had your eggs and your bacon. Yeah. Alright folks, it is late. This is probably one of the longest days I've worked in years. But we got all the T111 up. Go around here and look. I have got to knock off so I can get this. I got a anal load of stuff to pick up. All the T111 on this side is done. First thing in the morning, what we're going to do is come in here, cut out where the windows go, and then I can secure it really good to these with the T111. The T111. I can see where the screws are real good. And we'll get the windows installed tomorrow and go from there. So to recap what we've done today, we've poured this concrete so I can go out a little further with this wider door that I have. Uh, poured it pretty wet. Yeah, it's setting up pretty good now. I went over it with my trawl, uh, the four or five inches I need, and leveled that out real good. So... I'm going to step back. Gosh, that don't look much different than the color I have, does it? I mean, it's a little bit darker, but man, I ain't got to be in no hurry about painting that. I mean, I can't even hardly really tell. What do you think, Millie? You haven't been in today's movie, I don't think. She says, I just need one pet head petting and then I'm going to head out. I got to go in and cook your supper. Yeah, that's going to look good when it's done and actually... Once the windows are in, there ain't going to be a whole lot of T111 left. But it's that extra, you know, security. The extra, uh, we got that insulated down there. So that's going to make it really warm in here. We're also going to, oh, did I step in that? We're going to insulate down here very well. And then I'm going to fill in all these little cracks with foam and, get them all secure and then we're gonna man if that took two bags that's probably gonna take 12 bags that's probably gonna take eh, one, two, three, four, six bags because i gotta dig that up that has to be good i've got to get i just i got the concrete and then i realized i don't really have any concrete tools i got one trowel it was enough for that so all right guys the battery's about dead thanks for watching tomorrow's going to be very interesting we're getting these windows in the final time 
and it's going to look good and then we can begin on this revamping this whole door or wall and we still got one window to put in i've already got that measured out where i want it thanks for watching and remember we got two more days of dogtober links are in the description if you feel and uh, charitable they sure would appreciate it them girls work hard happy trails yep we got that done today early voting